Hey, all right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome to a brand new LP of mine. We're going back to the camera for a little while. Why are we going back to the camera? Because my computer couldn't run this game. At any rate, let's focus on the bottom screen for now, since top screen doesn't give us too much. You get Game Freak Presents, you get the Game Freak Symbol. Let's go over here for a bit. What could it be? It's Pokemon! Yay! Which Pokemon game is it? Well, it's on the DS, and I'm not doing Pokemon White or Black 2. That's right, we're going to the wonderful region of Sinnoh. The realm of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I really shouldn't keep, you know, you in suspense, even though it's gonna say which came with Melpine in the title, but for right now, let's shut up and enjoy the opening. Let's play Pokemon Pearl. Well, uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna... I was actually playing around with an action replay and it messed up my name. So, uh, I'm gonna hit new game. Now, in this game, it will not allow you to save. If you hit a new game and you already have an old file, you'll have to delete your file. Since I really like my other file and I don't feel like transferring everything, but I want to play Pearl more than Diamond or Platinum... I'm going to uh, just be doing this and hope that my DS doesn't die. I'm going to keep it plugged in. <laughs> At any rate. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this our first adventure? No! Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> It's widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball. And we can touch that. If you hit any other button, they'll say, No, no, not that button. The button on the Pokeball. So? This is this my second time I tried recording this, and it actually glitched up when I hit the Pokeball the first time. I don't know what happened. I mean, it could still play. It's just... <laughs> what do I do? I conduct research so we may learn more about Pokermans. Now, why don't you tell me a bit more about yourself? Now, we can either choose to be a boy or a girl, a feature that's been in the gener in the uh, series since Pokemon Crystal. I'm a male, as you could probably tell by my voice, so I'm going to go with the boy. His default name is Lucas, but what I'm going to do is, my first introduction to Alpine was a guy called Maryland. Uh... I don't really like him too much now, but, I mean, hell, he's a nice guy and all, so... I'm gonna style my LP after this. After his, in a way. What he did is, he named his character after his real name, and then named his starter Pokemon after his, uh, YouTube account name. When he did his, uh, Pokemon Diamond LP. So, I'm just gonna go with my real name here. You see, that was the glitch. I don't know why it does that. It actually might be something with my DS. Aw, oh, man, I don't want my DS light to die. A fine name, that is. And here we have our rival. His name? His default name doesn't actually show up here. His canon name is supposedly Barry. But I'm going to name my rival after... one of my closer YouTube buddies. I'm going to use his real name. Like he asked me to. <laughs> Ryan, SS2 Jet. Adam versus Ryan. No oh boy. This will be my last Pokemon LP until Pokemon X or Pokemon Y, whichever one I decide to do. 
probably X version because I want to play Y version for myself. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Cool! So let's go into the options real quick. Let's have the tech speed to fast, so I don't have to keep holding down A. Now in this game, if you run into something that can be talked to, like, or interacted with, like a sign or whatnot, it'll read it to you. It's pretty cool. I think it's actually just for signs, not anything that can be interacted with. Oh boy, Ryan's calling! Well, if it's an emergency, I should go see. The emergency. see Fuck the police. And welcome to Twinleaf Town. This is one of my starting- my- Pokemon Pearl is my second favorite Pokemon game, right after, uh, Gold. And here we have our OCD rival, or not OCD, ADD. One million dollars. I haven't actually seen the Austin Powers, I might have messed that, uh... I haven't seen the movies, so I might have messed that quote up. I don't want to talk to you, Ryan's mom. I'm sure you're a very nice woman, but I have no intention of talking to you. I thought it was one million before, dude. Whatever, I'm just gonna play with your Wii. It's a Wii! It's playing Xenoblade! Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I'm not actually a huge fan of Xenoblade. Supposedly, it gets a lot better after the part that I'm currently at. Because right now, I have no intention of ever picking it up again. But I will. I like the last story a lot more so far. <laughs> Cool. And here we have uh, following people. You can talk to them a lot. They have like about four or five quotes. Or six. This isn't our first. I think there's four more. Maybe five. And I think most of them are actually optional. I think only one's really required. Yeah, only one is required. And it's not this one, there's another one later. <laughs> I like the music in the lakes. You're a little pushy, ain't you, Gramps? Uh, you guys left your briefcase behind. That isn't something you usually leave behind. I tend to remember those. And the cool thing about this game is that, uh... Let's say you play it at night, the music changes. It's, it's really cool. I love this game. Yeah. We're going to get murdered. Oh boy. How convenient. And our Pokemon choice for starters in this game are Turtwig, the tiny leaf Pokemon. Piplup the Penguin. And my starter, the chimp Pokemon, Chimchar. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl had a significant lack of fire types in the region. It was If you didn't choose the starter, literally your only choice for the main game were the, was Ponyta and Rapidash. At any rate, let's use Scratch, because it's really our only attacking move. Nice damage. Well, then again, we are level 5. People complain that the battles in Diamond and Pearl were really slow. Hell, I mean... Yeah, Platinum sped it up significantly, but... 
It's not that bad. I think the issue is overblown. It could be worse. You just had to choose Piplup. Piplup's final form is actually one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. But I hate his first two forms so much. Yeah. Do you want your Pokemon back? Well, I guess we need them in case we get into another encounter here. You wouldn't want to get us killed. I took two damage from that, Barry. How bad do you have to be? I mean, Ryan, damn it. <laughs> I took two damage from that. If you got hurt much more than that, you either got critted out the ass or something. So, now we can check uh, his summary and stats. So what nature is he? Lax. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with my DS lights wiring now. Oh well, at least it fixes itself up pretty quickly. Anyway, Lax, as I predicted, increases defense, but sacrifices special defense. You kind of see there, it's the lowest stat. Likes to run and insinuates that it has a high, it could have a very high EV, uh, speed IV. And the IVs matter. <laughs> anyway, that's competitive stuff. It doesn't really matter too much for main game. You can use pretty much anything main game as long as you grind enough. Oh god, he's gonna hit us, isn't he? Well, he didn't take him back. Well, maybe there's hope. Maybe. Maybe. Part of the reason I like Diamond and Pearl more than Platinum is this opening scene here. But I think they went a little too quickly with it in, uh... Platinum. Wow. Sand gem. We must give it to Rosa. Oh, doodles. Oh. Oh boy, running shoes. Running shoes are such a great item. I love them. Basically, you hold down the B button. And you run faster. And, uh, unlike in, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, you can actually run in buildings with them, too. See? Look at how much faster we're going. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if this was added in, uh... I don't know when this was added. I think it's in this game. Running through, uh, grass will increase the encounter rate, and running past a trainer will, uh, make them look at you. So, if you want to avoid battles, walk. If you don't want trainers to see you, slow your roll, buddy boy. I mean, it's definitely not as fast as Pokemon Black or White, but... Hell, it's whatever. Oof. Not taking a crit so early, but... Oh, we're still packing. Yeah. <laughs> and worse comes to... Actually, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, worst comes to worst, I can always just use an action replay to level grind, but I'd have to turn off the system for that, which means I'd lose it all. Ooh, here's our new first experience with a Bidoof. The ultimate HM slave. Oh, damn it, I have these HMs in this game. Oh, well. I'm probably ruin a few Pokemon's moveset, because I'm not packing a dedicated HM slave. Anyway, I'll meet you guys when I finish with him. Got a critical hit ourselves. Nice. And Shimchar has become level 6. Now, Chimchar... Did I say Charmander? I don't know what I said, but anyway. Chimchar and his family, by nature, are not very bulky Pokemon. So this isn't a particularly wonderful nature. But it's not the worst nature I've ever seen. Hey there, Ryan. The hell does that even mean? Oh, 
Oh well. Oh boy. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Shimchar to you as a gift. Oh boy. Sure, I'd love to. Just get my stylus out. So. I'll just name it after me. Oh boy, it's a female Chimchar. That never happens. And I can't really name it after me, can I? Oh well, whatever. Still naming it after me. I'm very happy with that nickname. If you evolve, you, if you manage to actually get your Pokemon to evolve at this point, he'll he'll say something about it. I use an action replay to find out. Ahem, <laughs> let's move on to the main topic. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. We'll use it to record data on all the Pokemon at Sinnoh for me? Hell no! I can stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, Adam. Yeah, fine, whatever. Hmm, good answer. But thou must. I will. Oh boy. Yay! Except it's impossible, because no matter what you choose, she chooses a Pokemon that has a weakness to yours. Which gave it the first time a rival could have... Well, she's not really a rival, and like, you don't fight her. Bianca would be the first rival with a type weakness to you. In a 5th gen. Dawn here is useless. Anyway, so, here we have Comic Fire! Now, a lot of people don't seem to know this, because they put... Like, I don't like the a capital C in Comic Fire. It just looks wrong to me. So, lowercase. But female Pokemon are rare. There's a... I think a 12.5% chance you'll actually get one. Okay, Adam Lash is your mentor. Alright, then. And the professors? Ass. No, okay. <laughs> I love this tea so much, man. It's the same stuff I was talking about in the Katawa Shoujo LP. And the more badges you get, the more merchandise that becomes available. And unlike in Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal, you can't just circumvent talking to your parents and head north, she'll stop you. Oh, let's get it done. I'm gonna go for a bit longer episodes in this LP, because, uh... It's kind of annoying having to take out the... Because I have to record one episode at a time because I'm using my camera, my camcorder. So, uh... You know. Longer. Just less episodes, less editing. We don't even need to, to go to the Pokemon Center, because she'll heal us up for free! I don't know if you can say, Mom. Wow. Oh boy, a journal. Every time you start at the game, the journal will tell you some important thing you've done. But we won't ever see that. You can also just check it in the game, but... Aww. I'm never coming to... Oh, hey. You could name it, like, boobs. It's like, is my little boobs? Oh, that wouldn't work. But <laughs> inappropriate humor if you're in, if you're so inclined. I will? You're not even going to ask me that? Anyway, we get at the parcel. Woo. Oh, 
All right, Jubilife City is north of San Gem Town, but you know I won't make us. I won't make you look all here. So I'm just gonna end the episode here. Next time I'm gonna meet you all in San Gem, and start or really start our adventure. All right, I hope you're gonna enjoy. I hope you all enjoy this LP. This is gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be a trip. I love this game a lot. So see you guys next time.